392, what? Relations are neutrality plus three. We do not like to pay taxes, and this is why the state's attitude towards us is getting worse with every move. When a state's attitude drops to red, the government blocks our property. Do not forget to constantly use political influence. Uh, okay, uh, I'll just click this and see what happens. Negative 284 influence is not enough. So I just did a click and I gained stuff. We're at neutrality plus five. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything else to do on turn one. Let's just click. Let's just play and see what happens. I don't know. So we got to go back to capital and shouldn't we see like it's turn two? Is it not turn two? I click next turn. I guess we started technically on turn zero. That's what just happened. All right. Can I see my... Relations with, like, the states without going to the map. Gold stars times six. What does gold stars times six mean? Region level. Okay, so I get the impression these, the bigger the click you do, like, the better it is. Is that right? 196 gets you 180? I don't understand. Where, where is the resource I'm spending? What, what is determining whether or not I can do the bigger clicks? I don't have enough influence. I... I don't know. I, I don't understand. I feel like I'm spending 196 hands here to do a meeting. But I don't know where the 90, 196 hands come from. In the top left? That's money. Top left. Where? Influence is in the espionage menu? Okay. Okay, so it's influence. Okay. Is there... And you can't see influence on the main screen somewhere? Oh, that pops down. Salary taxes. Oh, wait. We, we lose money for taxes. Huh. That's the opposite of what I expected. I thought 175 in taxes was a good thing. We're going to lose money instead. So influence is made by the espionage guy. Got it. Okay. Can we see... Oh, okay. So we can see all of the places here. Got it, got it. And we can actually do the things here. Auto negotiation is disabled. Conduct the negotiation with the government of the country in order to improve the attitude toward the bank. Growth in agriculture. Increase the parameter of agriculture in the region. So I get to just like... Level 19 out of 20, available investments, 34,000, property, profit, actions available. What does this all mean? Buy. Well, I just spent money. Uh... Increase the region's industry parameters. So I, I, th I think I just increased the industry. Industry in four moves. But what are action points? Do the meeting? Should we just do it? Fine. I mean... Respect. Next level of relations is at 876 out of 1,049. 
Conduct negotiations with the government of the country in order to improve the attitude towards your bank. Okay, so... We go back to the map. There was something in here about... We do not like to pay taxes, and this is why the state's attitude towards us is getting worse with every move when a state's attitude drops threat. So every, no matter what, we're going to automatically lose respect over time, or trust over time, or whatever. Alright, okay. I did the tutorial. The tutorial was very, very short. <laughs> it was like a one-turn thing. That was it. Unless, unless it was going to continue after that. <laughs> okay, um... Maybe I'm mistaken and there was more to it. So, we should try to get a second region at some point. We're just losing money right now. Like, I, I don't know how to make money, because the, the one thing that called to me, the uh, doing, like, exchange arbitrage or whatever, was is not going to work. So... Uh, Alright. Manages the development of basic resources, iron, stone, wood, and later on coal. Resources per year. Objects, zero out of five. Object price. Profit per turn. Do I have to wait for these guys to like give me stuff? Or can I just find them myself? Loans, lend. Profit per turn, 4.2%. Okay. So, there are loans available. Lend. Alright, so profit per turn, 4.2. Loan defaults, 7.5. Profit, 1,250. Before return in one turn. So it's a one turn rental. I, uh, one turn loan, I guess. Credits. Department level. Max department loan, 10,000. After improvement, 20,000. Some keyboard shortcuts would go a long way. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Investment. There's a, there's a thing we can do. With department, 16,001. We're down to 11,000 gold. Tuscany has a farm. Purchase price, 14,109. Base price of 15,850. Produces grain. 20... that thing. I... yes. I can't afford it. The level of the building conditions the maximum value of the property to purchase. So now I don't have enough money to actually buy uh, the property. Click buy anyway? I mean, I can, but... Yeah, it doesn't do anything, so we don't have enough money for it. Okay, well, let's just click next turn. So we're losing money. Invest in property. Department investment. Alright, so now we have a much cheaper thing offered. A fur-bearing animal farm. Produces furs. It's better than nothing. So we have 9,965 gold and 2,485 property. And can we go to the... Where was, like, the... under statistics? No, that's just ranking. I'm looking for... Alright, so salary, taxes, value of property. So, we're not making money directly from the investment. We're going to get... We have a luxury fur-bearing farm, base price, production per turn, resource price, 213. So, tw 25 fur? Okay. That seems good. There is a land allotment. I want that too. So now, if we go to the exchange and we check our sell available funds resources,
So we have the one flax that I bought, which was just experimental. Let's sell that. Furs, arms. So we have 26 furs, which is worth 263. 263 covers our costs, so we're at least no longer losing money, but that's if we just auto-sell our furs every turn. Which we pretty much have to do, because I need I need more profit. I need more money so that I can buy stuff. But yeah, just sell all. For now. Um, I need to get enough money to buy a second region so we can try to upgrade our thing. That's important. We also need to continue doing, like, interactions with these guys. Charlie plus five. Next level of relations, 748 out of 783. We should do that then. What does this 196 plus 180 mean? I think we're spending 196 influence to gain 180. Does that sound right? Let's check. We're at 748. And now we're at 928. 928 minus 748 equals 180. Yes. So that means... Yes. I don't know exactly what the benefits to respect are versus the other thing, but being at the higher level seems like a good thing. Use your influence to unleash a war with a random neighbor. All right. That 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 sounds good. Right? Select a region to attack. We should probably attack people. Do you really want to attack the region Parma, which belongs to the country Parma? Price of 10,000. No, I don't actually. I, I don't have 10,000. Sorry. Next turn. Okay, uh, investments. I can buy another fur-bearing animal farm. I don't have enough money for it though. So basically, are we just going to be going into the exchange every turn for right now and just saying, like, sell all? And how come we only have furs? I thought we had more than that. We have a farm that's making resources per year. Does the farm not produce every month? Cost of sowing. Or not every month, every yeah, every every month. Maybe it only harvests in the in the right season. We're in the middle of winter. That makes sense, right? Stack the fur till the price is up and use loans to buy more fur farms. Can I... Wait, I can take loans? I thought I was lending money to people. Oh, right. Can I borrow? Four moves. So it's a four-turn loan, 7.7% 7 .7 profit, 1,200 ducats. Let's lend that. There's no, like, description in here that says, like, what months it will harvest and, and stuff, but it sounds reasonable that it's going to only harvest in certain months. Available work. You produce 200 work. Armory. You produce zero wood, zero iron, zero coal. Arms require work and wood to create bows, crossbows, halberds, and swords. So we need wood, iron, and coal. Maybe we should just buy some of that right now. How do we know what is worth stuff? We have a lot of available work right now. I'm just gonna go buy some iron and wood. On the exchange, which seems like an awful deal because you're you're just wasting money. Right? You're losing like half the value. But, since we're not being offered wood as a thing, let's just try buying like, I don't know, 100 wood and 100 iron. That would cost 800. Sure, bye. Then we can go to armory. Now that we have 100 wood, 100 iron, we can auto produce. Auto production of what? There was something in the debts tab on the loan thing? Okay. Um, so why don't we just make, like, say, 
half of this and all of that. Whatever, 20, 20 bows, 10 crossbows. And then go to like here and then do the same thing here. 15, 13. A little bit of each, why not? Sounds good. Order. There goes that iron and wood. So that's that's instantaneous production now. Can we just go and sell those? We can. Okay, so we have like a production system then. Uh, why do we have a specific amount of work available? I don't know, but we now need to like kind of figure out. So if arms, arms, I think I read were worth more during war, but we need money now, so we could stockpile or we could try to sell them. So if a crossbow is 9.1 gold and a crossbow requires four wood and the price of buying four wood is 16, we're able to turn 16 gold into 9.1. It's a loss. That's not very good. We should stockpile them for war. Yeah. We're not going to sell them at a loss, obviously. Alright, someone said there was a thing underneath the... Borrowers? That's the loan I just issued. Maybe you have 800 work because Florence have 800 workers. More food equals more workers equals more work. Could be, yeah. It seems like we, we produce 200 per turn and we're on turn 4, so we've just been producing 200 per turn. I'm guessing it's actually the development of Tuscany, which we see underneath... Uh, not this one, it was... Not that one either. Where was it that we saw the development? It was under... Is it under investment? No, I can't remember. Influence? Influence was under espionage. Right. Here. We have 20 out of 20 agriculture. So maybe that's where the work comes from, or maybe the work is coming from industry. I, I don't really know. But on the map, we can see that Tuscany has 20 to 20, 19, and 20. So I think maybe this influences the amount of work it generates, but I don't really know. Don't really know. Details? Alright, next turn. It's fine. According to rumors, the minimum accepted value of banks will soon change. All banks that are cheaper than this will have to quit the big game. Okay. Let's go back to credits, loans. Okay, so that loan is active for three more turns. No new loans have been offered. Um, create a new batch of weapons. Department Armory, invest in property, Department Investment. We're being offered a cottage for 13,000. I can't afford that, so it just produces gold. God, I want it. <laughs> just produce gold, man. That sounds like a, just, you know, just personal union Ming. Why not just do that? That sounds great. Produce new weapons in the armory, but I, I don't actually have more materials for that, so. Since there's no, like, preparation time, right? You could just stockpile your work and build it all at once. Like, you don't have to do it on a per turn basis. Check weapon prices. Weapon prices are not changed, really. Like, they're not really projected to go up either. Iron is a fixed price. Iron's very cheap. No, that's to sell, though. Iron and wood are fixed price. Or four ducats.
Can you maybe sell weapon to countries instead of exchange? Uh, we could try going to other places. Let's, uh, there was somewhere where we could see wars. Yes, Japan is at war with Jianzu. East Liaoning, Ninguta. All right, uh, open. Oh, that's if I wanted to buy a stock there. No, I don't want that. How could I... I want to go to, like, diplomacy with this country. We have, like, a shortcut key to go to our investment places, Tuscany. Click on the flag to zoom on it. Click on there to open that thing up. That's convenient, but, uh... So, either... Current completed attacks. Forces of parties. Your contribution. Click on the sword with the red five. After the battle, the winner will be able to capture the border region of the enemy. War reveals the darkest sides, and this is why all property of the captured region will be plundered and lose half of the base value. You have to participate to sell weapons, apparently. Okay. That seems like that might be true. So, let me just try to understand this war a little bit. So, it's Jianzu and Japan. Obviously, Japan is attacking Jianzu, and there's a five. Why five? Because... Because five. Okay. Let's just uh, keep stockpiling money. I mean, or not, not money, but keep stockpiling our weapons until something changes. I'm not really sure. I don't really need to create a new batch of stuff. I can't afford the new investment. We have very little money to start with. It really wants me to do it, but I can't, so whatever. Invest in property. Alright, more furs. You know what? It's better to have the money tied up than to not. And the investments themselves... The... Properties that we own. I feel like there should, there's a button that takes me to list all of them. Sale price. Does it keep track of how much I paid when I bought it? Base price. Like, we can actually make a profit by selling... Wait, did it group the two together? Is that why it's only showing one? I think we just, like, invested in more of the same type, so it's not showing two separate investments, it's just one big one now. Okay. I have 1,500 in resources available. Let's sell those. And then... I guess I should, I should hold on to them until I see an investment that makes sense. And then, and then we dump stuff in order to try to buy the investment. We can purchase a house that produces gold. Purchase price 4,600, base price 4,200. So it's actually more valuable than the, the price. It's not, not a quote-unquote good investment. The, the fur-bearing farm is, is actually trading at a premium, but if we sell it, then we miss out on the... Production per turn, resource price. So we're making, I think we're making 60 times 13 is 780 per turn. Is that right? That seems like a lot. We make 60, price 13. Why does it say 13? I just sold the weapons? Oh, I sell the weapons as well? Ah, shoot. I should have used these civilian goods. You're right. So I wasted money by selling the weapons because we produced them at a loss. Okay, that's fine. Should we sell the furs in order to get the Tuscany, Tuscany house? I don't know how much gold it produces, so maybe it's way better. 
Isn't making one fur costing 13? Oh, is that what that means? Resource price. If the price of production is... Wait, maybe it means we're spending 13 gold per turn to run that whole unit, that whole farm. Salary taxes farms. Resource value 615. I, I want to try just, just clicking buttons, really. So I'm going to sell the fur-bearing animal farm so that we can buy the house. Even though it's trading above the base price, I, I don't know how much this thing will actually make. So that is real estate, I think. Resources per year is 504. So that's worse. <laughs> if it's per year, 504 divided by 12 is only 42 gold per turn. We were making way more than that with the fur farm. Nice. Very nice. We're a very bad evil bank. We're, we're losing money constantly in almost every trade. <laughs> Tree felling, 12,742. Produces wood. No, fur wasn't selling for about 13 each. Fur was selling for 9.9. Not 13. I don't know why it said 13. Gold plus property is worth enough to buy this, and the current property is just bad, right? Sale, sell price is 5074 So for some reason, the sale price is actually better than what we just paid for it, so I guess technically we made a profit. Yeah, technically. But we'd have to sell the this thing in order to be able to buy the other thing, because I have no other resources to get rid of, so whatever. We're now going to do tree felling. We can't make up our mind. That's under industry. Alright, so let's see if we can figure this one out. Base price. Production per turn. 686 wood. Resource price. So we could use that now to just like use the wood to make weapons. We could auto produce some stuff. Auto production, I can only have one on five. I guess this might actually be like a priority list, because if I try to put this one to five, then it doesn't do it either. But we're still stockpiling work, so who cares really. We can lend out uh, 1,200 more ducats at a 37.7% default rate for 2.6 profit per turn. That sounds pretty bad. Our other loan came back. Create a new batch of weapons, invest in property. We can buy a really crappy house, sure. Better than nothing, I guess. So, let's just check to see, we should have, um... Look at that, we made 1,371 resources in that one day, so that would that wood is actually pretty damn good, compared to what we had before. We made 686 wood in one turn, worth 1300. Just direct selling it is half as valuable as buying the wood. But we need direct money. Is it better though to convert the wood at a price of 2? So I could sell this for 1372, or we could go to the armory, and even though we're not at war, we could convert it into 